from Clinton, Arkansas, the cowboy, Joey Cifuentes. So it's day two. We're sitting in fifth place, had a big bag yesterday. I'm gonna get in my area today and I'm gonna stay there all day and try and come out with another big bag. I've got a longer day today, so I'm really excited about that. The thing about my area is there's not a lot of fish there, but it's got all the right things in my opinion. It's got a lot of perch, which smallmouth like to eat big perch. It's got a lot of isolated clumps of cabbage grass, which is huge. Those big smallmouth, I think they like to hang around that stuff. So I have to really hunt around that whole area. I'm using my live scope. I love hunting them down and finding out where they are and, and I seem to make the right decisions. So we'll see what happens today. <laughs> but yeah, I seem to seem to catch smaller ones early and I don't, I don't know that there's some that are down there on the bottom that I can't quite see until they, maybe when the sun comes up, they they get off the bottom so much and suspend a little bit better. Maybe some of these fish or some ones I caught yesterday could be, and they're a little bit shy maybe, but. Golly. <sighs> little better quality there. Big old long one. There was one that went up high, and I don't know what it was doing, but it went up towards the surface. It looked much bigger than this one, so. Typically here on some of these smallmouth places, the bigger fish just don't bite until late, you know mid to late day. So I didn't get in a rush. I really uh, just kind of settled down and and covered a lot of water until I found you know I ended up catching a four pounder and that got me going. Oh, my hand slipped. Oh my goodness. I was second guessing this place oh yesterday God. morning for a while and I, I made like one more drift and I caught a four and you know caught another one and it's just <sighs> every time you try and grab these fish in the mouth they shake their head and they snap their jaw he's just a three pounder I think it just progressively will get better as the day goes on I hope I mean I'm all in on this spot I'm not I'm not going anywhere if he jumps, he's probably a good one. Yeah. I didn't. I didn't catch any fish really, real, pretty close to my waypoints, but not right on them. You know, I had to move out a little bit, and then today I did the same thing, and you know, had a good bag. This right here is why there are big smallmouth. That's the perch and they love to eat them. So, haven't been seeing any yet, but that's why I'm here. Because it takes a pretty big smallmouth to eat a perch like that, and I've seen them puke them up. I've been catching all my smallmouth on a Berkeley Maxent flatworm. It's a no secret, this thing works great. I've, I've won a lot of money fishing this, the flatworm. It's the 3.6 inch. The way I'm rigging this worm up is I'm putting it on a number two Berkeley Fusion 19 hook. Oh, he might be. Just nose hooking that worm on there. I got eight pound test, Berkeley 100% fluorocarbon, and I got about a quarter ounce weight down there on the bottom. My, my main strategy in my fishing is I'm just, I'm covering a lot of water with my live scope and anytime I see a smallmouth, typically they're paired two or three fish, I'm just throwing that flatworm right on them uh, with my live scope, you know, and man, when that thing hits the bottom, a lot of times they eat it before it even touches the bottom. They love it so much. Put these fin clips on them that keeps their, keeps them from rolling up on their belly and takes a lot of stress off of them. I think there's still some out here. It just, it's, it may not have been a, as good a spot as, as I thought it was, you know? I mean, it's just the nature of the beast. Oh! <laughs> I got it! Yeah, jumped three times, once right there at the boat. Should be a four pounder. Chill out, buddy. Let me get your weight. It's four and a half. Now we get to cull one of those little babies.
Man, that's so stressful when those fish jump, dude. It is. And scary. I would have loved him to just jumped in the boat. Good little, little bit of a shake. Keep hanging out in your area. You know it's good. And you keep fishing hard. And it'll pay off. Don't you do it. You stay on there. That's a pretty fish, you know. Still hadn't seen one of them big five pounders yet. The reason I like my area is it has a lot of diversity, if you will. It's got cabbage grass, which is always really good when you get in any northern fishery. I don't care if you're fishing for largemouth or smallmouth. If you have cabbage, and it, the thing about cabbage is it grows really high off the bottom and it gives, um, it's like a dock pier out there in the middle of the lake. So the fish just love to hang around it. It attracts a lot of bait. My area has a lot of perch in it. Now, smallmouth, they love eating perch. Most of the big fish I'm catching, they're puking up perch. I'm constantly catching them on my drop shot worm. So like, so it's got the bait. It's Thank got, uh, I'm sure it's got some rock down there on the bottom, you know, don't know for sure, but I'm pretty sure it's a hard bottom. That's gonna hold them too. It's just got a good mixture of all the things you need. A little bit of ounces. Couple ounces, maybe. Ah, oh, come on. Magnabbit. That's one, it's her. Don't do it. Oh, yeah, I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a big black one. Please come here, fish. Please come here. Come here. Come here. Oh, I got you. <sighs> Thank you, Lord. That's one of the bites we needed. Yeah. Dude, I grabbed that fish <laughs> and threw it. It slipped out of my hands and I threw it back in the water. It's close to five. That's definitely a good upgrade right there. So that's, I don't know. I should have like 19 and a half pounds. And that's probably a little light. They're pro I'm, probably, I'm probably right at 20, which is my goal. And shoot, man, I'm for sure going to be fishing, uh, fishing tomorrow. Surely that's, that's a four, four pound. <laughs> That's a good coal right there. Check this out, guys. I'm sorry, it's so it's so hard to gauge these, but that's my that's my coal right there. Man, that's a big fish. Like I think now I got I don't know <laughs> 21 yeah. somewhere in there. Yeah. If I catch a five pounder, another one. Well, I don't know that I have a five pounder. I got some that are close, but if I catch a five, a true five. Um, I'm gonna be, I'm probably gonna be exiting the area. Oh, it come off! Oh, it's going back. Man, there's like three or four of them there. It's definitely bigger than the last one. Come here. 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 Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here, girl. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> oh, man. Barely had her just skin hooked right there in the lip. They all look so big, I, I can't tell. We're gonna find out. Four and a half. Exactly. <laughs> says I got, says I got twenty three. 
23 pounds. I mean, what do you do? You probably, if you're, if you're, I, I never want to leave fish, but I think I'm going to probably go. If, if this thing's right, and it's pretty dang close, because I just weighed every single one of them, so. Yeah, that puts me at, I mean, 23 is a four day tournament. Like, if I, if I weigh that today, I got a legitimate chance of potentially winning, so. Unless they just smashed them today, but even then, I don't want to beat this area up, so. And I'm not gonna get much better than that. I mean, I can catch another five pounder. And I just caught, I fished all this, bam, bam, bam. I mean, like three good ones right there. So, and when you start catching quality fish, you know you're in a good area. So, so what, I, what I like to do is I'll take, I'll take my flat worms, flat nose minnows, and I get some of this gulp. Doesn't matter, I, I got a saltwater thing here, but I like to put them in there, and that just gives us some extra juice and I probably shouldn't be saying that, but it works really good. So it gets you some gulp. Um, I, I use the shrimp like in Florida when I'm saltwater fishing. So I just take the shrimp out and I'll put the flat noses in there. They expand just a little bit. They get a little bit bigger, but um, really getting some, a lot of those fish, you know, get them to bite. So, you know, may catch a big one on it. It's worth a shot. I use a, a Fusion Berkeley Fusion 19 drop shot hook. This is a number two. That's my my choice when I'm when I'm using these minnows and stuff and the in the, the flatworm. <laughs> For me to get more bites, to throw a really small hook, and I can throw small baits on that. But um, I throw the flat nose minnow on a number four Berkeley drop shot hook. It's a Fusion 19 hook. They're they're excellent. Um, you don't I don't hardly ever lose fish on that. Ever since I've been doing well fishing for smallmouth and throwing a drop shot, that's the that's been my hook of choice. So that's one me a lot of money. It's a tank, dude. It's a tank. Let's see how much he weighs. I'm not gonna be able to get it, but four and a half. So that's going to help. Uh, that's a fat one. <laughs> Looks big. Joey Sefuentes moves into second place, just 11 ounces short of the overall lead at the Avco Bassmaster Elite here on Lake St. Clair. 46 pounds, 10 ounces. This is right where you want to be going into day three. Right where you want to be. Second place. Uh, Got to catch them today. Got to have another big day. Hopefully have the biggest day we've had. That would be really cool. A little bit different conditions today, but it's going to be a grind for me. If this, you know, the wind current and stuff, if it gets the fish off the bottom, um, yesterday it was so calm that, you know, some of the fish I caught were just, they look like walleye down there, or a little speck on the bottom, and they weren't up off the bottom. Um, I, I don't know, maybe this wind will, will get them up off the bottom. That's that's the deal, because if not, I won't, I won't really be able to see them. I'll just be kind of blind casting out there at certain little, little spots, hoping to get a bite. Um, but I, I am seeing a few fish up, but I think they're walleye, but that's good. I mean, if the walleye are up, then something's changed since yesterday. It definitely makes it more of a challenge. There is no doubt about that. It's a start. Oh, man. I think these fish are just tucked down in this grass, man. There's almost impossible to see. Come here, little guy. Just threw it.
got? It's got some meat on it. Please don't be a walleye. Golly, it's a good smallmouth. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, girl. Oh, that's a big one. Please stay on there. Come on. Come on. No, no, no! No, oh, come here, come here, please. No! Get in here! Dead gummit. Oh. Oh, this, is, this is so stressful. Come here, come here. Come here. Yeah! Got her! <laughs> oh, that took forever. Oh my gosh, I can't. <laughs> it's in my fingers and it ain't coming out. <laughs> That's a good one. Golly, man. Good grief, dude. Hey, that's my first five pounder. Look how fat that fish is. Oh, thank you, Lord, man. That's awesome. Put you on the big side, baby. Hey, that's an early five pounder. I'm gonna try the lay down method like I practiced yesterday. Oh, come here. mean a lot to me to, to win rookie of the year um it's I think I do like the you know down. it's not as big a deal as like angler of the year or anything but coming in your first year and to have that on your title you know you only get one shot at it so so to win that would be would be awesome and then if, if I had the opportunity to win two tournaments in the same year um there's just not very many people that's done that I, it's a it's not a goal that I have on the board, you know. You know, it's, it's not something you don't really like. Man, I want to win two tournaments. Like you try and go for one, it would be it'd be sweet. Plus, it's my rookie year, and and win two tournaments doing that, it, it'd be awesome. I don't know what this wind's gonna do all day, but it doesn't look good. Oh, it's a pretty good one. I might be better off heading back, and I don't know. But I can't see nothing. It's too bad. We may have to make a may have to do something else. I don't know. Probably caught the smallest fish out of that whole group of fish right there. It's pretty close to four. This is pretty bad. I don't know, but I. I'm gonna have to go back through there and drift in that one spot again because the fish are like up off the bottom now because the wind's blowing so hard. I don't want to horse it and it actually be a good one. So the cowboy hat, I've, I've wore a cowboy hat working on the farm at the house. I'm a country boy and I, I don't know, I just love, I love my cowboy hat, I'm a cattle farmer. The origin really of me wearing it on the fishing side, I, I got a sponsor of mine, uh, my truck sponsor from Cowboy Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram and the owner there, I walked in to first meet him to get, to potentially get the sponsorship, I was wearing my hat, my cowboy hat. And he told me, he said, Joey, why aren't you wearing your cowboy hat out there while you're fishing? <laughs> and kind of a light clicked off in the head and um, I was thinking like, you know, it's 
this this the sport that we live in or, or we fish and and do is it's there's a lot of anglers and everybody's really kind of the same so that's kind of my advice to anybody and, and young kids like you want to be able to set yourself apart in the fishing industry and i thought it was just a really good not only is it me but it's a it's a good way to set yourself apart most people don't even know my name <laughs> They just know me as the cowboy, and so it's just a it's a great way to to set yourself apart, and that I mean that's that's a big help in, in the fishing industry. He moves into second place, just 13 ounces short of the overall lead. Get loud for the cowboy, Joey C. Fuentes. I feel good. I feel great. I'm ready to catch some fish, some big fish. Got a chance to win a tournament. I mean, shoot, you don't get that all the time. And this is my second time this year. So. Be pretty cool if I could uh, maybe get another dub, and um, we'll see. But but I'm looking forward to today. Um, if the weather's nice out there and we get the right bites and we find them, uh, that's going to be the trick today. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Well, we landed that one successfully. Good to get the jitters out. <laughs> Got you, buddy. Is it a walleye? No, it's not a walleye. Don't jump! Golly! It's a, oh my gosh, it's a giant. Oh, please stay on. Come here. Ah! It ain't a five, I don't think, but it's a big one. <laughs> That's a stud. Great way to start the day right there. That's the quality that lives out here, man. If I can get me five of them babies, we gonna take us home another trophy. And we got all day to do it. Golly. Come here, come here, come here, come here. No, come here, come here, come here. Come here. Come here. I got it! <sighs> Hallelujah! Uh, let's see here. We got another five pounder. <laughs> Unreal. That one is for you, Jovi. Jovi's my, my littlest daughter, and uh, she doesn't really know what's going on, but that one's for you. Five pounder for Stella, five pounder for Jovi. This right here is what they're living in. This is what I call cabbage. Um, it doesn't matter where you're at up north, large mouth, small mouth, they hang around it, the bait hangs around it. It's just a good leafy, it grows really tall off the ground and uh, holds a lot of bait and it holds big small mouth. That's good, that's what I like to see. I've been throwing in those little isolated patches of grass just because you can't see them in there and um, just to check them. And there was a fish in that one, so. Yeah, three and three quarter. I could run into three giants here in the next five minutes, 10 minutes. It may take th two, three hours. I mean, that's why I'm here. That's why I'm fishing this area. We can't be losing any fish, that's. That cannot happen again. That's two, three strikes and you're out. Don't, don't, golly. I got two little. Got it. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> we got 20 pounds, so we're on track. This is, this is ideal weather for live scoping. 
I'm, I'm seeing them all. I'm seeing all the ones I've caught pretty good, so. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Yes! Woo! <laughs> Get over here. <laughs> that one was better than I thought. Oh man, there's my coal right there. Five pounder, three and a half. <laughs> We're gonna have a potential bag that could win this tournament. I mean, realistically, up just being realistic. They are here, man. I knew this place was good, but I didn't, I mean, I guess today is really like the first good day I've had for what I'm doing and live scoping and a couple more upgrades and dang, that grass right there looks so good. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. It's another giant. Stay down, don't come off, don't come off. No, 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 no. Oh my goodness, this is a big one. This is a big one. No! Oh my goodness, come here. Come here, girl. No! Oh! Woo! Did you see that? Oh my goodness! That fish jumped in the boat! Oh my gosh! Oh my goodness! Hey, that's the way I want them all to do it! <laughs> oh, thank you, Lord. Unbelievable! <laughs> Dude, I hope you got that on, on some, or whatever. It doesn't matter, but I know you got it. I know you got it right there. I know, I know. Oh my goodness. This is the kind of day you gotta have to win a tournament. There ain't no doubt. Man, that'll give you a chance to win. Man, my dad is, my dad's been a lot to me. Uh, he, uh, he, he took me fishing when I was a kid. Uh, he, he taught me, you know, how to be a man. Uh, he's, he's just the biggest mentor of my life, you know? So, uh, he's just a great, great dad. And uh, I couldn't, you know, I couldn't be more thankful to have him. And, and I just, I know this means a lot to him. <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> he's been through a lot, you know, the past few years too. So, uh, you know, this, 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 it's, it's speechless, man, you know? This one's for him. The Cowboy conquers Lake St. Clair and doubles down in 2023. He's an Elite Series rookie, but a two-time Bassmaster Elite Series champion. Marathon, peak performance.